Hello and welcome back to my channel. In case you're new here, I'm Tina. I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on eBay, Etsy, and Poshmark. And today I listed my first thing on Mercari. So we'll see how that goes. That may be a new platform for me. Uh, I apologize if you hear a little whining in the background. It's bedtime for my dogs. <laughs> It's a little late here. Um, it's probably about quarter to eight on a Sunday night. And they usually like to be in bed by now. So yeah, you might hear a little bit of whining. Sorry for that. So I am bringing you another what sold video today. And this is basically what sold for me in the past 48 hours. Pretty much a weekend edition um, from Friday night till Sunday night. And hopefully I have more sales overnight. I usually do. And in the morning, but this is what I've sold so far and what I will be shipping out tomorrow morning. All right. So let's get started here. What's sold? So I have one sale on Poshmark this weekend, which is, I don't know. I do better during the week. It seems on Poshmark. It's weird. And Etsy too. I rarely have weekend sales on those platforms. It seems to be more during the week. Although the most of my sales do come from eBay anyway, at this point. Okay. So getting started here. The first thing I sold is on Poshmark. It's a pair of shoes. Ooh. I was on the wrong item here. I'm looking at my iPad because I would never remember all of this. And I, I said that in my last video, I believe. Okay, so first item is a pair of Corky's Nessa perforated flats, size seven and a half. They sold for $23. I took an offer on them on Poshmark. I believe I had them listed for 27. I took an offer for $23. So my earnings ends up being $18.40. I did have these listed for a little while, maybe six months. Um, I don't quite remember what I paid for these, but it probably wasn't a whole lot. All right, so then moving over to eBay. Lots of sales, it was a good weekend. It was a good weekend on eBay and it's gonna be, be a lot of fun shipping tomorrow. Oh, I hear him, he's crying his little heart out. Bernie. It's Bernie crying his little heart out. All right. So first item is a QVC Prepology red microwave pressure cooker. That sold for $16.99 plus shipping. I picked this up at that sale where the gentleman and his wife, they were having a yard sale and he asked me back to his mother's house maybe a month or two later to see if I wanted to buy anything. And, uh, you know, I said, yeah, absolutely. I spoke about this in one of my other videos. So yeah, that's where that came from. And yeah, just, I keep selling that stuff. I don't have a whole lot of it left, but I have a few, a few items left. All right. Next item is a Britix stroller organizer, cup holder. This, um, this goes, I guess, like around the handle of a, of a stroller and you can put the baby bottle in there and food or snacks or your cell phone or whatever you want. This I actually picked up at my last bins trip back in November. So I don't know what exact cost was on this, but it goes by the pound and this was very lightweight. And the stuff like this, I don't know if this would have been counted as like clothing or hard goods. I think this would have been in the clothing price. So a dollar something. All right. Next item is a soft surroundings, iris, flowy top, uh, blue green crushed velvet. This sold for $27.99 plus shipping. I believe I got this fairly recently within the past couple months at one of the 50% off days at my local thrift store. That's a, a pretty decent brand to sell, especially the newer items. Some of the older stuff takes takes a little bit longer, uh, but that, that, that brand does have a following. 
All right, next item is a Wedgwood Palatia five-piece place setting in a Greek key design. It's got the plates, the cup, the saucer. Uh, that sold for $49.99 plus shipping. That I picked up over in New Jersey at one of the one of the small town thrifts that was actually in one of my other videos except i i didn't pick it up this past time i picked it up back in the fall and it was at the time it was marked eight dollars for the set but it was marked down either 75 or 90 percent off so i only paid i only paid like a dollar or two for this set so that was a nice sale uh, next item is a pair of Euro, Euro Soft by Soft Sky Merlot Hidden Wedge Heels. These shoes, uh, I think I picked them up pretty recently. I, I might have gotten them at the thrift. I can't totally remember with this one for some reason. They sold for $19.99 plus shipping. I probably only paid a dollar or two for them. All right, next is a pair of American Eagle Super Stretch Jegging Jeans size six regular they sold for $15.99 plus shipping um I probably picked these up at a yard sale I usually don't pick up American Eagle unless I can get it fairly cheap or unless it's like a newer model a newer model a newer style I don't know but they do sell for me especially shorts like short not shorts but I mean like short like a short length or a tall length. Those sell for a little bit more money. Um, but yeah, if you can get them cheap enough, I find it's it's worth it for me anyway. All right, next item is a Dooney and Burke signature monogram canvas tassel handbag. It's blue. I took a best offer of $27 for this. I think I had it listed for $39.99. It had a little bit of wear I believe or maybe some dirtiness to the inside I can't quite remember offhand but I did have this listed since last spring I picked it up I remember the exact rummage sale I picked this up at I picked it up for five dollars I actually picked up two of them one I sold almost right away and this one I'm selling now so almost a year later but $27 so I'm still making a profit I have an Anchor Store subscription, so I have up to 10,000 listings included with that subscription. So I'm paying a flat rate for my store subscription, but I'm not paying to relist these items every month or, or not even relist them because I do good, good till canceled. So eBay just made the, the new spring, they dropped the new spring update or the early update or whatever and, you know, made the announcement that they're changing, they're changing buy it now listings till good to good till canceled. And a lot of people are all up in arms over it, but for me, it doesn't matter because that's how I do it anyway. So, so yeah. All right, back to what's selling here. All right, next item I also picked up at the bins back in November at that last trip I said I went to. I haven't been there in a while. I need to make a bins trip soon. I really miss the bins. So this is uh, an Ann Cole signature tankini top, not the bottom, it's just the top. Uh, size large, sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Next item is a pair of Disney plus size short alls. Short alls are basically like overalls, but they're shorts. As you can see, wherever I'm gonna put that photo, it's there. <laughs> uh, so these I actually had sitting in my death pile for a very long time, like at least a year. Isn't that terrible? terrible I know I listed them maybe two weeks ago maybe not even two weeks ago and they sold already so if I would have listed these a year ago I would have had that money already what are you gonna do you know what sometimes I don't know sometimes there's like certain items I'm like yeah I'll get to that and I just don't feel like listing it for some reason or another or 
I don't know. Excuses, excuses, right? But anyhow, I finally listed them and they sold. So I'm happy with that and a pretty decent price too. So moving on here. The next item is a coffee mug. I do love coffee mugs. You'll learn that about me. So this is an Our Name is Mud. That's the brand. Clever Kitty Cat Personal Assistant 16 ounce coffee mug cup. It's kind of cute. It's got this saying on it. And I'm, I'm trying to like read from my, I, my iPad here. I don't know what that is. Like dirt all over the case. But um, <laughs> it says, if you need me, I'll be sitting on your keyboard. So that's kind of funny, right? Good for a cat lover. That's for sure. So $14.99 plus shipping, if I didn't say that already. Okay, next item is a Lily by Fermiana multicolor floral three-quarter sleeve tunic, size 1XL. That sold for $22.99 plus shipping. This came from one of my local thrifts that has a deal with a popular online retailer. Um, I don't know. I guess they get like their overstock or whatever, but they get like all these brand new items in and they sell them at pretty decent prices, um, which is crazy because almost everything else in this particular store is usually crazy expensive. But I think they're getting such a large amount of this stuff that they kind of have to move it out to keep getting it. So, so that's a win. Uh, anyway, I paid, I believe when I bought this, they were doing a five for $20 sale. So I, I paid $4 for this. All right. Next item is a cabbie, which is Carol Anderson by invitation. Um, Tile coin medallion necklace with the pouch. This is a super cool necklace. I really like this. I actually picked this up last summer at a garage sale and it sat in my desk drawer and it kept getting like buried under papers and I kept forgetting about it and I would pull it out. I'm like, wow, I have to list this. This is so nice. And I kept forgetting about it. And I pulled it out again the other day and I'm like, I have to get this listed. This is so cool. So I did, I got it listed. It sold a couple days later, $34.99 plus shipping. Uh, I don't remember what I paid for this particular piece, but it probably wasn't a whole lot. But yeah, very cool. That was, it was a nice sale because I really, really like that necklace. Um, I don't really have any need to wear that. I mean, it's kind of fancy and I mean, I sit around in sweatshirts all the time. <laughs> so. But it's so nice anyway. Um, all right, next item is a 1996 men's Nakona. I guess that's how you say it. Brown leather Western belt. Um, I think I've had too much caffeine. I keep shaking my leg. <laughs> and that's probably making me shake. So if you see me like moving on camera, that's what it is. I'm trying to like realize I'm doing this and make myself stop. Um, all right, let me finish with the belt here. So this belt sold for, I took a best offer of $19.22. I think it was listed maybe, I might've had it listed for $29.99, I'm not real sure. This came out of one of the sales I went to, which I also spoke about in one of my previous videos, it was like the warehouse sale where it was advertised as vintage and high end and everything like that. That that came from one of those sales, not the last one, but one of the previous ones I went to. So I probably paid $3 for that. All right, next item is an Asian six piece chopstick set. This sold for $15 plus shipping. I picked this up at a yard sale. I thought it looked kind of neat. Um, and someone else does too, because they bought it. So yeah, I, I did have it listed for a while. I'm not sure how long, but it, it was a while. And I, I don't remember how much I paid for this set either, but it was probably about a dollar. All right, next item is a pair of walkie 
I think that's how you say it. I could be saying it wrong. Uh, Liana black leather comfort sandals. These sold for $24.99 plus shipping. I've sold this brand before. They usually do okay. Uh, these, I think, sold for a little less, maybe because of uh, some footbed wear or something. Because I, I recall selling this brand for a little higher before. So there must have been a reason I listed them for that. I really didn't list them that long ago either. I, I think it was pretty recent. And I think I did get these at the thrift store. Probably for a couple dollars. Um, next item is a pair of Doc Martens Delaney kids boots. They do have a little bit of wear. It almost looks, first of all, the uppers look pretty darn good on these. It's the soles for some reason. Actually, no, even the soles look pretty good, but the back of the heels it looks like someone was bored and they were sitting there like sawing away at it with, with, I don't know what, but it looks like they were cut or something. It's very bizarre. Um, cause I, I don't believe that they got that way from use because the rest of the boots would probably show more of that also. And they don't. So anyway, because of this flaw, I listed them for $19.99 plus shipping I listed these, hmm, I don't think it was that long ago because I, I think I just picked these up in January. There was um, like a mom sale, they called it, inside of, a, inside of a church. It wasn't a church sale or a rummage sale. It was just like a mom sale where um, well, I think it was like five to seven different mothers had their own little table set up and they were selling some stuff. And I bought a box of stuff and these came from that. I paid, I think I paid $25 for everything I got in the box. So I don't really know what the individual price for these ended up being because I never counted the items and divided it and did the math or anything like that. But, but these almost paid for the box and I'm pretty sure, I, I know I've already sold something else out of that too. And I do have a couple items sitting that I haven't listed yet. Oh, oh, okay. You know what? One of them, one of the other items was actually a, a jacket that's being returned to me because the lady didn't like the way it fit. But I think there was something else I sold too. I don't know. Anyway, let's just move on here. All right. Next item is a pair of Lane Bryant distinctly boot cut dark wash jeans, size 14 petite. I, hmm, I'm looking at this price and I think, I think this lady might have bought two of them. Hold on a minute. She did. She did buy two different pair of them. Okay. Cause it says $37.98 and I'm like, I don't think I listed them for $37.98. I did have a quantity of two on these. So what she did was she bought both pairs. So perfect. That's great. All right. Next item. This is kind of wild. This is um, a vintage advertising First National Bank in, I guess they had different locations in Penargel and Belfast, Pennsylvania. It's a cheese bread knife type thing like what a weird promotional item for a bank to hand out right like not a pen or a ruler or whatever they're giving you a bread knife or a cheese knife <laughs> so bizarre but anyway I got this in a box lot at um well it was it was an online auction that I bid on um maybe like a year or two ago and it was just like a bunch of kitchen items and uh, some flatware. And this was in one of the bins. And I held on to it for a while before I listed it because I wasn't quite sure what I was really going to do with it. And then I was like, you know what, let me just throw it up there. And so it's probably been listed for, for a while, for like a year or so. But it sold for $19.95 plus shipping. I hope I didn't say that already. It's getting late and I'm getting tired, so... I'm kind of losing it all, <laughs> but yeah, the coffee's wearing off. So, um, the weird thing though, this 
is local to my area and it's going to Texas. So I don't know if it's someone who maybe came from this area or had a relative that maybe worked at this bank or a relative that lived in this area or whatever, but I don't know, kind of neat, right? So yeah, that's the story with that. All right, next item is an Old Navy gray long sleeve sh sweatshirt with a pink flamingo. This I actually just showed in, I believe it was the New Jersey thrifting and haul video last week. So yeah, that that sold for $12.99 plus shipping. Uh, I knew someone would want that with the flamingo on it. I'm like, who, who wouldn't want this? It's really cool. Um, so yeah, even though it was Old Navy, I mean, I priced it what I thought was a fair price, like nothing crazy because it is just Old Navy, but yeah. Now my dogs are rolling around together on the floor. So if you hear them making noise, but at least they're having fun and not crying now. <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. He's making all kinds of noise. All right. So next item is a pair of Jack Rogers candy corn sandals. These are super cool and they'll be great for Halloween, but someone just needs them right now, I guess. Uh, because actually sometimes it's really cold around Halloween. I don't know, but they bought them. These sold, these are kind of like a limited edition, like Jack Rogers print. They don't, or not even print. I believe it, the candy corn is like embroidered on there. Um, these are new without box. I did not pay that much for these. I also picked these up at that store that buys from a popular online retailer. Um, this was a very good sale. I sold these for $79.99 plus shipping. Next item is four Villeroy & Bach Switch 3, that's the pattern name, uh, soup cereal bowls. These sold, and I just listed these fairly recently as well. These sold for $49.99 plus shipping. And the next item is a Yankee Candle hanging tart burner. Um, well, the whole thing doesn't hang. It, it sits on a tabletop, but the little tart burner portion hangs. Um, so this sold for $49.99 plus shipping. That is the price of the night, right? $49. I will take it. $49.99. I will take that all day. So this sat for a little while, but I guess now coming into spring and summer, someone's like, someone's getting ready for like margaritas and parties and they want their citrus, <laughs> you know, but this is, this is pretty cool. I can imagine this like on someone's, you know, patio or something. And I don't know, something like that. I like these. I like these a lot. I think I had several of these for sale. I think that this might be the last one or next to last one that I still have. All right. Next item is a pair of fresh produce, brown swing pants, capri pants. They sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And they were also picked up recently at a thrift store on 50% off day. Next item is a Talbot's Woman uh, Petite Red Paisley Pin Tuck Blouse. This sold for $17.99 plus shipping. This is like good work workwear type, type of thing. Um, at least I could see someone wearing this to work. All right, next item, this has been listed for a while, like a long while. This is a Coca-Cola coffee mug by Gibson. Like this, I would probably never pick up now. Actually, I may not have even picked it up then. I listed this back when I was still doing a lot of auctions and I would buy box lots of things you know, and sometimes you'll buy a box lot for one or two items and then you still have the rest of the box. And I will usually try to 
get whatever I can out of that box. Like I try to list the majority of the stuff and, you know, see whatever money I can get out of it before I donate it or whatever. And actually once an item's listed, it's pretty much listed and forgotten about because like I said, this has been listed for a long time, but now thank God it's gone. Um, $19.99 free shipping. So I pay the shipping. There was also a time I was doing a lot of free shipping. That also tells you how old this is um, because I don't do that on hard goods anymore. Once in a while, if it's something light, I mean, I will make an exception in certain cases, but I would say 90% of the time I do not offer free shipping. All right, next is a pair of Rockham DC United um, MLS men's socks. I'm looking, I'm like, what are these? They're soccer, Washington DC soccer. That's what these are. These I did pick up in the fall, um, brand new. I picked up a couple different pair of these. The woman, I believe her husband worked at the factory that made these, um, but he had different things. He had socks, he had some hats, he had, I don't know, he had some different things. I picked up a, a variety. These were actually, I think I picked up only like three pair of socks. They were three or four, maybe they were kind of the last of what was left and they were 50 cents a pair. And I sold them for $14.99 with free shipping. These I did do free shipping on. The last item that sold is a set of four chefs bistro pattern brown wood grain salad forks. These I also showed in one of my first videos. So this, these were only listed a week or two. And they sold for $22.99 plus shipping. I did sell, I think a day or two after I listed these, cause I, I showed the set in, in the video that I did, but I parted them all out into salad forks, dinner forks, soup spoons, gumbo spoons. Uh, I think the other one was like a, a place spoon. So I, parted them out like that. And I did sell, I don't know. I think it was one of the spoons that sold one of the sets of spoons that sold right after. Um, and now these, so, so yeah, that is it so far. That is what has sold for the weekend. And it's about a little after 8 PM now. So I'm sure there's going to be more overnight. There usually is. So I am going to have my shipping cut out for me in the morning. Sometimes I try to do it at night. I did not get any of that done today. Uh, and now I think I'm about wrapping it up for the night. I, I think I'm done with work for this evening. So that will all be waiting for me in the morning as well as probably eight to 10 inches of snow. So yikes. But thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, feel free to comment if you have any questions or anything like that. And if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my channel. I will be bringing you more What Sold videos. I will also be doing more of rummage sale videos, garage sale videos, um, trips to the flea market, uh, probably more shipping videos too. Um, I think those might be helpful for, for people who aren't really into hard goods yet, but want to get into them. So, um, and have a fear of, of shipping them. So yeah, lots of different stuff coming to my channel. So again, please subscribe if you'd be interested in seeing that stuff. Have a great night guys. Thanks again for watching. Bye.